The recycle bin feature in Active Directory in Windows Server 2008 R2 can only be turned on using PowerShell. So I fired up the PowerShell integrated scripting environment, ISE, and loaded up this script to have a look at how that works. The first thing I want to show you is what features are turned on for Active Directory in this installation. And I run this command to do that. The thing to notice here is that the enabled scopes is empty here, which means that the recycle bin has not been turned on for anything yet. Another important thing to notice is that you cannot disable the recycle bin as this property shows. So once you've turned it on, it's on forever. To turn it on, we use the enable AD optional feature. The feature we want to turn on is recycle bin. The target we want to select is Woodgrove Bank. And we simply run it like that. Now I've run it without another switch, which would um, suppress this message. But I just want to show you, you get a warning normally if you try and turn this feature on. I can now confirm that the recycle bin is turned on by rerunning the get AD optional feature command. And here you can see that the enabled scopes property is populated with the details for the Woodgrove Bank domain. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do some damage to my Active Directory domain to see how the recycle bin works. So I'm going to start up administrative tools, Active Directory users and computers, have a look at Woodgrove Bank and the computers in it. And I'm going to delete this computer here. And it's fairly easy to do that in Active Directory at the moment. And if you delete a computer, then you'd have to reboot that computer and get it to rejoin the domain. Or you could do an authoritative restore in Active Directory, but that would mean a reboot of one of your domain controllers, neither of which is particularly unpleasant maybe for the users or particularly easy to do. However, we've now got that recycle bin. So let's go back to PowerShell and see what we can see. So what I've got here is a simple command, get ad object, to look for that computer. And if I run that, I get nothing. However, if I run it with the include deleted object switch, and then format that output, we can see the computer is there and deleted is set to true. So whenever we delete something, it's going to persist in your Active Directory for 180 days on top of the 180 days you get from tombstoning. So you've got about a year to get this thing back. And this shows you the power of PowerShell. If I run that command again, but this time pipe the output to restore AD object, then that's exactly what it'll do, where before it was just showing us the output. So execute that, and we're done. Now, the first thing we can notice is if I run my first command again, <clears throat> the object is there. And also, if I go to Active Directory now and refresh here, our computer is back from the dead. So it's really easy to use, but as I say, you've got to use PowerShell to make this work.